Authorities warn the murder of a world famous historian could harm tourism. Thousands of Johannesburg commuters said to be stranded as bus drivers go on strike. And the Proteas clinch the final test at Newland, scooping a series win against Pakistan. This is E! News Primetime. A very good evening. KwaZulu-Natal police continue to hunt for David Rattray's murderers tonight as outpourings of condemnation and grief flood in from around the world. The renowned KwaZulu-Natal historian was gunned down in his bush lodge on Friday evening. God bless you, soldier. The Zulus are inside, the Zulus are David outside. David Rattray was a renowned historian, fated by some of the world's most influential people. He spent decades of his life trying to improve race relations and promote cultural tourism in South Africa. But on Friday evening, he became just another victim of crime, gunned down in front of his wife at their luxury lodge. News of his murder has spread round the world and local tourism authorities are worried about the ripples it will cause. It's one of our big source markets, the United Kingdom and it could have a negative impact because he's quite a well-known figure and it's making headlines over there. South Africa's politicians have also reacted. The IFP says the murder proofs crime is out of control. The DA's urging government to see this incident as a wake-up call. The ANC has lamented Rattray's loss, but maintains crime is not out of control. Look somewhere else. National and Police Commissioner Jackie Selebi has sent Those his condolences to the family. A special me. police task team is now hunting Rattray's killers. So far, no one has been arrested, but as of now, the team is busy at the crime scene trying to gather whatever leads they can get to assist them in the investigation. Rattray will be laid to rest on Thursday. Vanessa Governor, E! News, Durban. Well, another worry for tourism authorities is the spate of muggings around the world-famous Kirstenbosch Gardens in Cape Town. Muggers struck again this weekend, targeting hikers on the mountain slopes above the botanical gardens. The muggers attacked one group of four hikers and another group of three. The hikers were robbed but not hurt. The attacks are the 14th such muggings in under two weeks. Parks officials promised more security and it seems they've kept their word. We never ever encountered any muggers and we do notice security now. So it's, it's actually okay. On our way down we saw the security guards standing there and that sort of thing. So. It was cool. It was kind of, you know, shame. Guys can't monitor the whole mountain. After the spate of muggings, there certainly is a more visible security presence on the trails above Kirstenbosch. Security guards are in constant communication with each other, monitoring paths, overgrown areas and escape routes criminals may be using. Hello. But the criminals somehow managed to stay a step ahead of authorities. But the guys are extremely clever, the muggers. They know exactly. If we're covering the one spot, they're moving over to the next spot. Park officials are working with police and dog patrols to try and catch the muggers. Nina Callahan, E! News, Cape Town. A race row is brewing in a northern KwaZulu-Natal town. This after the murder of the town's municipal manager, Sidney Sikakane, earlier this month. He was black and his alleged killers are all Muslim. <laughs> Municipal workers demand justice for their slain boss. Sidney Sikakane was stabbed to death after he tried to stop a fight over a cell phone. Five men were initially facing trial for his murder. Two have since been let off the hook after the state withdrew charges against them. As for the other three, they're out on bail of 10,000 rand each. All five are Muslim. The murder has fueled anti-Islamic sentiments in the small town. As anger and tension sweeps through Greytown, the Muslim community here have closed ranks, refusing to talk about the murder, which has brought scorn and shame on them. Yeah, I've been living in this uh, town for the past 32 years, and uh, we've had a cordial relationship with all the blacks. And uh, I feel that mostly the Muslims are bearing the brunt of the, of, of the incident that happened. It's not all the Indians. they mainly out for the Muslims. 
The three alleged killers have been moved to Durban, where they'll remain until their next court appearance on the 13th of February. Police say it's simply not safe for them to remain in Greytown, especially when emotions are running so high. Vanessa Governor, E! News, Greytown. Thousands of Johannesburg bus commuters will be stranded tomorrow. And that's because bus drivers are planning to down tools and go on strike. They're demanding the Johannesburg Metro Bus Company pay them out for accumulated sick leave. The company is refusing to bow to their demands, saying unused annual sick leave is forfeited. The union gave notice of the strike last week, and over 600 bus drivers will not be reporting for duty tomorrow. Tens of thousands of school children, pensioners and workers in the housing area have been urged to make alternative transport arrangements. When E! News Primetime continues, South Africa's deadly gold rush, an E! News special report on illegal mining in Mpumalanga.